Hello everyone, welcome back to the Expert Tech channel. In, in our today's video, we will be solving the steam engine. Previously, we have solved the steam engine simulation in S Pen Plus and in S Pen Hisis, but this time it will be a bit different that we will be doing the parametric optimization of steam engine. So first look at the problem statement and the statement states that in a steam power plant, water at 25 degrees centigrade, one bar and at a molar flow rate of 200 kg mol per hour is pumped to the boiler at a pressure of 60 bar. The superheated steam is produced from the boiler at 600 degrees centigrade. Assume a pressure drop of 0.1 bar in the boiler. The superheated steam produces work in a steam turbine and saturated steam leaves the turbine at a pressure of 2 bar while the steam turbine operates at 72% isentropic efficiency. The saturated steam is condensed in a condenser and water condensate is produced which is then fed to the pump for reuse in the system. Obviously, we know the basic structure and in which we have been defined about the feed, the pump pressure, the boiler, two parameters to make its degree of freedom as zero similar for the condenser which will be same as that of the feed and we have been informed about the turbine operation as well. So first thing is to analyze the effect of parameters presented in table 2.1 and table 2.2 on the operation of a steam power plant and point out the best possible conditions. Use IAPWS slash 95 as thermodynamic property package. So we have been given these efficiencies that we have to vary the steam turbine efficiency and we have to check its effect on the power output. That is the power produced from turbine minus power consumed by the pump. And second case involves the condition of steam produced from the boiler. That is 600 degree centigrade allocated water pressure that is 60 bar minus pressure drop of 0.5 bar, 1 bar, 1.5 bar, 2 bar, 3 bar and 4 bar. Well, varying the temperature from 600, 650 and 700 degree centigrade. So first we will simulate the steam engine then we will use the sensitivity analysis to carry out this process. So let's quickly go to the S1 plus add the components add the property package and then we will go to the further steps. So first we will add the component water then going to the property package selection and we will select IAPWS 95 and we will click on this run button and once results are available we will go to the simulation environment. Now we will first build the simulation file and that is pump in our case then two changers obviously we will use two heaters one will serve as the boiler while the other one will serve as the condenser and the last point is the going to the pressure changer and we will select the turbine so quickly do the connections and saving your time obviously because we have already done these steps in our previous videos as well now going to this f1 which is the feed and which states that it is at 25 degrees centigrade one bar at a molar flow rate of 2000 kg mole per hour with more fraction of water as one and that's how the feed is completely specified now going to this pump charge pressure actually of pump is 60 bar then going to this boiler 600 degree centigrade with a pressure drop of 0.1 bar then going to this turbine module we have been given the isentropic efficiency so we will type isentropic discharge pressure is 2 bar and the isentropic efficiency is 0.72 then we will go to this condenser and its properties should remain the same as that of the feed because of the recycling process so 25 degree centigrade one bar so click on this run and results are now available and obviously this steam engine cycle has been solved and we can see the the powers of the system network required brake horsepower or indicated horsepower because we will use these values once we are specifying in the sensitivity analysis similarly the brake power electricity fluid power when there is no friction in the system accordingly the outlet pressure and outlet temperature are given out of here. Now once after doing the simulation our next task is to do the parametric optimization and for this we will go to the model analysis tool going to this sensitivity click on this new S1 will be generated over here and 
first we need to specify the variables our first task is to vary the steam turbine efficiency to understand its effect on the total power generation of the system so variable obviously new then the type obviously it will be a block variable because we will be specifying the turbine then turbine is selected and clicking on it and choosing the efficiency obviously it will be specified as entropic efficiency it cannot be polytropic efficiency it cannot be the mechanical efficiency and select it and since we have been given the points of specific points of 0.5 0 0.55 so we will specify list of values and it will be 0 0.5 0 0.55 0 0.6 0 0.65 0.7 and 0.75 so once we have specified the variable we will go to this define and we will specify the two parameters one of it will be the turbine power so we will label it as t power and how it will be specified by clicking on the block variable then on the turbine and selecting power or searching power from here it could be indicated horsepower or it could be brake horsepower or electrical power or total power so for the easiness we will select break horsepower over here then click on this new and p power which will be the pump power over here and p power is selected and that will be the block variable accordingly that will be the pump and then in the power we will select again the break horsepower now click on the tabulate click on this column one now how we can specify obviously it is the turbine power minus the pump power but you know that turbine power is calculated in s1 plus as negative value so first we will have to make it a positive value how it will be made by minus turbine power now it is a positive value so minus pump power and that will give the right answer if you select it as t power minus p power the answer will be wrong because s1 will take minus 600 and then will subtract the value so it will be minus 682 for example but that will be the wrong value it should actually be 600 minus 20 it should not be minus 600 minus 20 so you have to keep knowledge of it while you are solving it so now click on this run and results are now available you go to this results and you can see that with the increase in efficiency of steam turbine obviously the power production or the power output of the system is increasing and that is obvious because we have kept the pump power the same and with the increase in turbine efficiency the power production has increased and obviously the power output has been increased and if we go to this graph on the results curve you can see that this is a linear line straight line which shows that with the increase in efficiency of turbine the total power output of the system is increasing now the second one is the of boiler temperature and pressures so click on this new and in type block variable then it will be the boiler and boiler temperature over here so we will select the specified temperature and the specified temperature values are 600 650 and 700 so we will click on the list of values 600 650 and 700 is selected then click on this new and the second variable will be generated and going to the block variable then clicking on the boiler then the pressure and it will be the specified pressure and the values include minus 0.5 because we have defined the pressure drop minus 1 minus 1.5 minus 2 minus 3 and minus 4 then going to this define and similarly we will generate p power in the same way as we have generated for it and i will do this step quickly because we have already done that for this and similarly specifying the p power that is for the pump power and p power block variable the pump variable and it will be the brake power and then going to this tabulate specifying column number as 1 and it will be minus t power minus p power and again clicking on run and now results are available obviously these results which we are getting are on the more values or we are getting the more values as that of the required one because we required values at the certain values temperatures which is obviously not being possible because two parameters are 
simultaneously considered. So we have specified 600, 650, 700, and then we have specified the certain pressure values. So as you can see that with the increase in temperature, now look at the few parameters which are which we have to consider. 600 degree centigrade minus 0.5 bar and 600 degree centigrade minus 1 bar. As we can say that with the increase in pressure drop, the power production capacity has decreased. Next one is 650 degree centigrade minus 1.5 bar and 650 degree centigrade minus 2 bar. And that again shows that for the same temperature with the increase in pressure drop, the efficiency has decreased. However, if you go to the 600, its value was 6633. Well, in that case, it has increased. So with the increase in temperature, the power production capacity has increased. However, with the increase in pressure drop using the same temperature, the power production capacity has decreased. Same will be the case for 700 at minus 3 and minus 4 that the power production has increased with increase in temperature. However, with the increase in pressure drop, the value has decreased. And if we want to see the 3D plot of it, obviously that plot will reflect the overall system for the power production system. So that's how we simulate the steam engine and that's how we do the parametric optimization of steam engine cycle so that's it from this lecture thank you so much please do watch like share the video and subscribe to the channel also click on the bell icon to get all updates related to this channel till then it's goodbye stay tuned for more exciting videos